What is going on everybody? Today is a really cool video because I get to show you all about the Blue Eddy AC300 and the Blue Eddy B300. We're gonna talk about all the different types of uses, what I'm gonna use it for, what I think everybody out there is gonna be able to use it for, all the specs, everything's gonna be in this video. And thank you to Blue Eddy for providing me these two behemoths that work together Let's get going with all of that information right now. Now, if you guys are new to the channel, obviously you're gonna consider subscribing, but I do a lot of different things here and I do a lot of like van tours, a lot of camping, a lot of traveling. I do a lot of building, but really it's more so for personal use and then I share the building techniques with everybody and just having fun with it. Eventually, I usually get rid of the things that I typically build, whether it's a van or I just recently did a tiny house, solar based or energy efficient. I've dabbled a little bit in EVs, so I've done a little bit of everything on this channel. I love to share other people's builds, other people's ideas, thoughts, companies, any company that helps the people in this industry. I love doing all of that. Which brings me to today, obviously, which is Blue Eddy. So even though I am filming this not in a location where I have built, actually, I did help build this, weird. But anyways, I'm not in my tiny house, I'm not in a van. I am in the transition period of moving my entire life from the East Coast, which I moved back to a couple years ago, to the West Coast. And I'm gonna get into a little bit on how this can actually help my future life here in the next six months. I wanted to work with Blue Eddy because I believe in them. I've worked with them in the past. I know the company. I know what they're trying to do because they were founded in 2012 and they have strived to make improvements in sustainable living and solar and energy efficiency products ever since they started. They even have started this program, I guess, and this came actually with the Blue Eddy here. And it was just really cool. I don't know the LAAF program. I don't wanna say it incorrectly, but this was kind of a surprise to me on what this was. Thank you for your kind support. The number, and then it gives the number of this, African Family has been lifted up by the LAAF program. The LAAF program was launched in 2021 by Blue Eddy, with to whom they aim light up to 1 million African families. You have supported this program by choosing a Blue Eddy product. So that in itself is just really cool. You know, if you guys want to look more into that, it's, it was just, I mean, it was kind of like, it was a nice surprise, I guess you could say. So let me put this away. This could definitely go on my shelf whenever I find a landing spot in my life. Oh man, comical. What else, what else comes in the bag is obviously all the cables that you need, everything in this. Finally, they're, they're, they're attaching bags to this because we do have so many cables that come with it. You know, whether it's a solar cable or a DC cable to charge it up or to uh, add to solar panels, that's good. Um, you have this AC port so this can plug into the wall and then how it actually does plug in, which is I realize is way better, is there's a port here that you actually have to screw in. If you guys are watching this, you probably understand what all these cords might do. Maybe you don't. This is not really a tutorial on how to use the damn thing, but I really want to like show you guys what the benefits are. Now this is a solar charge port those are MC4 cables that, charge, that go into solar panels. Awesome, good stuff, very easy to figure out. And there's even, obviously, a booklet that comes with it that gives you all of the information on specs, safety, warranty cards, all the good jazz is in here and it comes in multiple different languages, obviously. However, what I did find actually really cool about this book is right at the beginning, it shows you what's in the box, obviously, but it also will show you what like additional purchase accessories that you could get, you know, whether it's a 30 amp charging cable, you know, the PV drop down module, it's pretty much uh, to connect to rigid panels, those, those big solar panels that I actually put on my tiny house. And even, you can actually even get a sub, a sub panel to integrate your power station into your home circuit backup, the UPS system. 
All right, and so before we go any further, just obviously all the links for Blue Eddy are gonna be in the description below. Make sure you click on those links. And there could even be a code there for you if you are interested in getting in the Blue Eddy AC300 or the B300 or obviously together. This was something that was new to me that I really wasn't expecting. And I'm seeing more and more companies come to this where I got this in the mail and I was like, oh cool, this is a nice power station. And then I picked it up and it was relatively light and I'm like, wow, this is actually a lot lighter than a power station of this size should be. So I'm like, okay, and I went to go turn it on and it wouldn't turn on. And I'm like, why are you not turning on? What the heck is going on? And admittedly, I did not read any of the instructions because I thought I was a know-it-all and I am taking a fat slice of humble pie. Obviously they sent me this as well, the B300, and this thing is the battery. So I'm like, whoa, wait a minute. So really you took the battery and you separated it from the station itself. And now you are able to connect this to this to create the power or the, or the system. Now, I think that is genius in so many ways because of the stackability factor of this. So how you do that is really simple and it comes with this massive cable. So on the cable, it has a, a button to obviously, you know, plug it in. But if you ever want to disengage, you want to obviously lift that up and then it has a lock and unlock position. We're going to plug this in for everybody just so you guys can be like, well, you didn't even use it. And bring it up over to here. And as you can see, it is now stackable. Let's plug this bad boy in. Stack it the way that I did here with the cable right there, or you can also um, have it off to the side, maybe in the back or however you want to position it. It's a little bit easier, a little bit more portable in that matter. The way to charge this is actually, uh, you can plug in the way that I have it plugged in now, and then you can plug this unit directly into AC power or DC power solar panels. You can also charge this directly. So you don't even need this around. You could actually just plug this unit, the, the B300 in separately. One of the major benefits that Blue Eddy has really come to is they have fast charging. Now everybody does fast charging, right? But they have a massive unit here that's over 3000 watt hours, right? Or three kilowatt hours, but they've gotten that charging down to 80% in 45 minutes. A lot of others do it in about 60 minutes, but they got this massive unit to go up to 80% in 45 minutes. Now, if people understand why the 80 to 100 takes longer, I'm not going to get into that, but it does take longer for a more scientific reason. And we could go over that in a different video. Now this battery also will get 3,500 life cycles and that only depletes it down to 80% you still get 80% after 3,500 life cycles is what they're saying. Lithium iron phosphate, obviously some of the best lithium batteries on the market, plain and simple. Now I know I talked about having it over 3,000 watt hours. The actual watt hour is 3,072, 3,072 watt hours. And I also mentioned that it was also expandable. This unit can handle up to six of these, six B300s, which can get it up to 18,432 watt hours. That is a lot of watt hours. That's 18 kilowatts of power. Now for people to understand how much power that really is, your standard EV is around a 100 kilowatt. I owned a Rivian, I had a Rivian, I loved my Rivian. The Rivian was 137 kilowatt hours. You guys can do the math on how big this is compared to like a Rivian R1T or another EV. To also give you a comparison, the standard home or the average home, I should say, uses roughly 10 kilowatts per day. With six of these stacked up at 18,000, you could obviously go an average of just under two days. Now, if you are in an emergency situation, obviously you're going to use this very cautiously and you're going to use your power very cautiously. However, we already talked about the multiple different ways that you could recharge this. You can recharge it in seven different ways. I am now over at Sandy Van Shop. This is actually one of their vans and I wanted to do some load testing in this video because you gotta, you gotta test everything out. Before I do that, um, 
just you know a little quick little look around the sandy van shop shout out to them for allowing letting allowing me to to do this because they didn't have to do that okay so i already have my phone plugged in you guys can actually see it and by the way if you hear a buzzing off in the background it's because we're running a cnc machine right now this is an active shop everybody things are happening okay we have the dc is on right now because i have my phone charging and it looks like it's right around 19 watts that is 18 watts so obviously it fluctuates as the phone charges 100 watt USB-C outlet. Why is that 100 watt nice? Is because I can now charge a laptop from that 100 watt output. We're gonna turn the AC power here in a second. This is all AC power. As you can see, each one is marked 20 amps. So like in your house, you have 15 amp circuits or 20 amp circuits. These are all 20 at 20 amps max is what it says. And then you have a 30 amp max, which is what like that outlet right there looks like. Let's turn that screen back on. You will actually see, if I had solar hooked up, which I don't, you would actually see solar coming in and that'll give you a wattage out, that'll give you a wattage rating. If I was tied into the grid, it would actually tell me how much wattage is coming in as well. If I have an AC, lo AC load, which I'm gonna turn that on right now. There it is. And I have this 120 volt mini fridge, dorm style fridge, if you may. So I'm going to plug that in. You can see that it's already jumped up to 100 watts. Maybe not. I hope you can. 97. That's not a lot. It's obviously not a lot. But let's see if we can get even more with the heat gun. So let's see what happens when I plug this in. Heat gun. This is on high. Heat guns draw as much power as like hair dryers. So for anybody that has those with luscious hair and want to blow dry your hair, same as I think. Right now I'm pulling another, so 550. Bridge is pulling 100 and this is pulling 450 then. A small little heat gun. It actually says it's a 600 watt heat gun, so. Pulling it just fine. Let's turn that off. I mean, that was only 550 watts between the two of them. Now, if I hooked up a whole bunch of other things, this can handle 3,000 watts, which I've already talked about. 3,000 watts of power is not easy to get up and trip. Definitely can work, no, no problems, on top of having your DC outlet as well. So your DC power and your AC power are gonna be two separate. Let's get back to the video. You guys see how it all works. Let's talk about where I could see myself kind of using this. Obviously emergency backup for whatever landing spot that I do land in, right? Whether I live in a micro apartment, a tiny house, or even in a van, right? And I really feel that those are my three main places that I would go. For the tiny house that I would just had, you know, I had a moment, there was a time during the eight months I was living off grid. Yes, very true. I lived comfortably for, six to eight months or whatever it was off grid in the middle of nowhere. And there was a moment where I actually fried my inverter charger and that was also my MPPT controller. So all of those, I couldn't bring solar in. I couldn't charge it from a generator. I couldn't do the things that I could, I couldn't charge my batteries. So having something like this would have been extremely beneficial to me because now I could run everything in my house and I wouldn't have to worry about the ways that I had to recharge my batteries, which was using a trickle charger, which sucked. On the roof of my tiny house, I've got 3.2 kilowatts or 3,200 watts of solar. This can handle up to 2,400 or 2.4 kilowatts. So I could technically plug this in to my tiny or to my solar. It wouldn't bring in the 3,200, it would bring in the 2,400 watts of solar. What I definitely see moving forward is a lot of van lifers using this now, especially DIYers. We are running into issues where there are fire issues or there are just wrong wiring done in DIY electrical. And to take all of that out of the equation and have a fully plug and play system with expandable batteries is very crucial for your standard DIY or your typical DIYer. Make a space in your garage 
like area, I say garage, like area, maybe if you have a platform bed, you could maybe stick this in there. You could run that long cable that I had just here out to this and you could expand battery to battery. I call it daisy chaining. You can do that quite easily in a van. This has the size of an inverter that most people use in vans. It has a 3000 watt inverter. It, it is amazing just to have 3000 watts in like a standard DIY van build with your DIY electrical system. Don't have to worry about it with this. It's already built in for you. If you want your own Blue Eddy AC300 and B300, then please go to that link below and obviously check out the discount code that I have for everybody. Stand behind Blue Eddy. They have a strong name and they do some good causes with that LAAF program. And we'll see you guys next time. Later.